A new mid-range container from Xiaomi is here and finally around the 300 to 400 euros price range the Xiaomi 11T is here. So let's get started with the unboxing and first look. The charger, 67 watts, a USB-C cable, a SIM eject tool, as well as a case and the usual paper material. And of course, the phone itself. We have glass on the front and glass on the back. On the front it's even Gorilla Glass Zvictis, which is a very sturdy glass. The frame is made out of aluminum. The buttons are very stable as well. We have a volume rocker and a power button with embedded fingerprint reader, which is quite quickly in unlocking the device. We have a speaker on the top as well as an infrared blaster. We have a speaker at the bottom that together with the top one creates a good stereo sound. USB Type-C, only 2.0, so speeds are a bit meh, and a dual SIM slot, which features dual nano SIM support, no microSD expansion. The device feels good in the hand with the rounded edges on the glass back. Despite offering a very large 6.67 inch AMOLED screen with 120Hz refresh rate. The device is not too heavy for a flagship, but there are mid-range competitors which are lighter and feel a bit smaller than this one here. We have a 108 megapixel main sensor, 8 megapixel ultrawide and a 5 megapixel tele macro camera, as well as some sensors and dual LED flash. On the front we have a 16 megapixel front-facing shooter without any AF. The main camera can record in 4K 30 frames per second and has stabilization enabled as well as an HDR option. If you want to have steady shot then you can go down to 1080p. The ultra-wide angle only supports 1080p 30 frames per second. Stabilization is quite okay. It's good for vlogging, definitely. When recording with the ultra-wide angle, I can zoom in up to two times, but it's still cropping into the ultra-wide angle and not utilizing the main camera. With the main camera sensor 4K 30, I also have the ability to zoom in this is two times and I can zoom even further up to six times. There is a movie mode available that can record even 1080p 60 frames per second and can be used for yeah, cinematic style videos, though it is I think only cropping and adding black bars at the top and the bottom. The camera allows you to also film in super macro mode, but you don't get any stabilization, but you have autofocus, which is quite handy. The front-facing camera can record in 1080p 30 frames per second. Its stabilization is not the best, and if you go into darker conditions, you see a lot of noise. The 108 megapixel camera performs adequately for its price range with its main large sensor. It offers a great bokeh 
it struggles a little bit with the ultra wide angle and i think also the selfie cam is not the best the tele macro cam however is pretty decent the device feels snappy and smooth thanks to the 120 hertz display and the mediatek dimensity 1000u it offers adequate speed for the price point and you don't have any issues when it comes to gaming. The system offers DRM White Wine Level 1, which allows you to play back Netflix, Disney Plus and Amazon Prime in HD. It is based upon Android 11, which runs here with MIUI 12.5.6. In terms of connectivity, no issues at all. GPS is working fine as well. It can get the signal very quickly and very accurate, even under three uh, meters. We have Bluetooth 5.2, we have Wi-Fi 6, we have NFC and an infrared port. So everything on board that you need. Telephony is also working fine. The device features a 5000 milliampere hour battery that should last you at least through one day, most of the time two days. It can be charged fairly quickly in around 40 minutes with the 67 watt included charger. Overall, I like the Xiaomi 11T on its first impression. It's working quite nicely. The asking price of 500 euros is definitely too high, but a little bit about around 300 euros. This is really a good alternative to the Redmi Note 10 Pro that I'm filming here right now with. So I will do some more camera tests, of course, and comparisons. So stay tuned for further videos about the Xiaomi 11T. Until the next time. Bye.